Hey friends, it is day 79. Um, I am just getting ready to head out to work. I will start with my gratitudes. I am so grateful for my Outback and its automatic start and heated seats and all of that because I have a rental car right now while it's getting fixed from the being rear-ended and it's a Malibu and it doesn't have um, where I touch my door and can get in and I couldn't remote start my car. So it's icy this morning. So I thought, okay, I'll sit here, let the car warm up for a minute because I'm too lazy to go back inside. Um, so I'm just snuggled up with my coat on top of me waiting for um, that to defrost, which I'm not even sure how to make it defrost, but um, surely it will, it will work here in a minute. So um, that's gratitude one. Gratitude two is I got some sleep last night and my headache finally went away. So I am happy for that. I'm hoping it doesn't return today. I'm gonna try to stay off the Motrin and <laughs> not have a rebound headache. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then um, three, I think I posted um, some bonus videos for you guys. I went to go water my bull yesterday and I had just missed the birth. The baby was still wet, but there was this sweet cow and um, it was her first baby. And so I found it and I tried to call my dad and say, hey, do you know you have a baby out here? And he wouldn't answer the phone. So um, I, the baby was a little cold and mom really wasn't doing too much with it. So, you know, I sort of approached her with caution to make sure she wasn't gonna take me out for getting near a baby and she was real sweet and didn't. Um, but I, you know, got him was trying to help him stand up and get over to the straw. I was hoping to get him latched before I left for work, but I didn't have time. He wasn't quite ready yet. But um, I did, um, again, feel her out, tested her to make sure she wasn't gonna take me out for trying because it, she was a first time heifer. Um, I was able to express a little milk and feed it to the baby. So um, I'm totally in love with her, but she's not staying apparently. Um, Dad had bought her just to see if he could get a heifer calf out of her. And then his plan was to take her to um, Topeka, Indiana, which there's a big sale barn there and sell her, but she's so sweet. But with the changes that are going on right now with um, milk prices, they just are really looking for quality show cattle. Um, but she's so sweet. So he said, well, you can take her home, put her in your yard. And I'm like, dad, I don't have enough grass for her. Plus I have neighbors on either side. So they would not be happy <laughs> with having a uh, mama cow in, in our backyard. Um, so, you know, that's the story of life. Being a farm kid, you just know animals aren't going to stay around forever. You just give them the best life while you can. And that's how it is. Um, but I got my lunch all packed. I can't show you, but I packed some um, of my potatoes that I prepped, some salad, and um, some of those falafels that I got at um, Costco. So I'm all ready, stay out of the cafeteria, stay on track today. Um, I've got a double header. I do lactation for four hours, a couple hours off, and then I go work in the NICU um, this afternoon. I wouldn't be sad if I got canceled, but I'm sure that's not <laughs> gonna happen because whenever you wanna get canceled, you don't. So um, Jeremy's at home this week. It's been nice having him around. That's another gratitude. Um, we were really, we had a really big fight earlier in this week, but um, we have since made up. And so it's nice just to have him around and lots of hugs and kisses and snuggles whenever I want them. So that's been really good too. So that's my day. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.